everybody. Today, we're going to embark on a whole different course of action. Instead of beginning on C and going up five, C, D, E, F, G, we're going to begin on C up here and reverse course. We're going to go down. So C, B, A, G, F, that's five down, and F will be our next scale. So we begin as usual with our G clef. And we'll begin on the first space, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. And I've added my carrots between three and four and seven and eight for half steps. And I immediately realized that, hey, E to F is a half step. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna have to change anything up here in this part of the scale. So see, let's see what happens. So F to G is good, that's a whole step. G to A is good. Good, that's a whole step. A to B, third to the fourth step, we need a half step, but A to B is a whole step. I cannot change the A because it's good in relation to the G, so I have to take this B now and lower it from a B to what's called B flat. And then we have B flat to C now is a whole step. C to D is a whole, and D to E is a whole, so it looks like the rest of the scale is working out fine. So, the new addition, just to recap, is the appearance of a flat on the fourth step of the scale. So, in writing the key signature, it would look like this. We would just put a B flat there. And I claim that this is the key signature. Of F major. Okay, let's try some note reading. First four, F, G, A, B, faster, F, G, A, B. We're leaving the flat out for now. Just trying to get quickly up the scale with just the letter names. Uh, next four, C, D, E, F, faster, C, D, E, F, C, D, E, F. Let's go from F to C, F, G, A, B, C, F, G, A, B, C, really fast. F, G, A, B, C. See if we can go right to the top now. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Again, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Faster. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Terrific. Let's add the B flat, and we'll just go up a couple of times completely. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. And one more time. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. And that's our F scale in the treble clef. And onwards to the bass clef now. Here's our F clef. Two dots around the F line. And we learned from doing the sharp scale that this is the F hanging from the bottom line of the staff. And this F is two Fs below middle C. And we go up, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Oops, and double bar. Put in our carrots between three and four, seven and eight, half step, 
and we see f to g is a whole, g to a is a whole, a to b is a whole, but we need a half, so we lower the b to a b flat, b flat to c is a whole, c to d is good, d to e is good, whole, and we have our half step on the top again. So our key signature now would look like this. We redraw the bass clef, and the B-flat is going down on the second line. And that's the beginning of the flat cycle of scales. All right, let's do some reading together. Uh, F, G, A, B. Again, F, G, A, B, fast. F, G, A, B. Again, F, G, A, B. Second group, C, D, E, F. Again, C, D, E, F. C, D, E, F. Let's go from F to C. F, G, A, B, C. Faster. F, G, A, B, C. F, G, A, B, C. See if we can go right up. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Again, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Great. Let's add the B flat now. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, a little faster. F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Terrific. And that's it for the bass clef going up. And now we're going to write the F scale descending in the treble clef from this F. F, E, D, C, B flat, etc. We'll come down here, G clef. F on the top line, F, E, D, C, B, make it a flat, because it is, A, G, F, double bar. All right, let's try reciting going down. F, E, D, C, faster. F, E, D, C, fast. F, E, D, C. F, E, D, C. Let's try from B without the flat. B, A, G, F. B, A, G, F. Faster. B, A, G, F. B, A, G, F. See if we can go from F to B. F E D C B. Again, F E D C B. See if we can go all the way through. F E D C B A G F. Again, F E D C B A G F. And with the flat, F E D C B flat A G F. Great. And now we'll take the bass clef descending, F E D C, etc. We'll start on the fourth line. There's our F clef. Here's the fourth line F, which the F clef signifies as being F. And down we go. F, E, D, C, whoops, B, make it a flat, A. G, bottom line, and F. And let's try reciting F, E, D, C. Faster, F, E, D, C. Faster, F, E, D, C. All right, the next four, B, A, G, F. Again, B A G F, faster. B A G F. Let's go from F to B. F E D C B, faster. F E D C B. See if we can go right through. F E D C B A G F. Again, F E D C B A G F. And let's do it with the B flat now. 
F E D C B flat A G F. Once again, F E D C B flat A G F. Great, and that is our F major scale descending in the in the bass clef. All right, for homework, write treble clef ascending three times. Write in the key signature three times. Also, don't forget, as you're writing the notes, say the notes, F, G, A, B flat, etc. Okay, and then three times, write in the bass clef, key signature included, and then coming down, this is very important because it's harder to read the alphabet going down or to say the alphabet going down. So make sure you do that three times and then the bass clef three times. And then when you're all done writing all the notes down and you've filled pages with notes, then just try writing the letter names in of all the notes and this will just reinforce your knowledge of the notes. And wherever there's a note, up here also, just write in the names. No harm done. It's just information that helps you out. Well, here we are once again at our visiting our old friend, the Circle of Fifths. And this time we're going to the left instead of to the right. And going to the right was going up the scale, starting on C. Going to the left is going down the scale. So we went C, B, A, G, F. And we added a B flat to the F scale to make it work according to our rules for what a major scale is. And it just so happens that that B flat is the fourth step of that particular scale. Well, that's it for F major, and thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.